We're working breaking news now on the tragic school shooting in Connecticut nearly one year after 20 children and six adults were killed. The Office of the State's Attorney has released a report on the investigation. It reveals some of the evidence police uncover but does not solve what may be the biggest mystery of all, a motive. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in our newsroom now with details on what police found in the shooter's bedroom. Susan, the question of why may never have an answer, but the report does confirm Adam Lanza acted alone. It's been almost a year since 20 students and six adults were gunned down at Sandy Hook Elementary School by Adam Lanza. Ever since, investigators have combed through mounds of evidence searching for answers. But according to a report released this afternoon by the Connecticut State Attorney, some of those answers may never be known. The report says there is no clear indication why Sandy Hook Elementary School was selected. But investigators do know Adam Lanza had a long history of social and mental health issues. According to the report, Lanza was also fascinated by guns. And the shooter had a preoccupation with mass shootings, in particular the Columbine shootings. When investigators went to Lanza's home, they discovered the shooter's second floor bedroom windows were taped over with black trash bags. And inside the home, they found dozens of pieces of evidence, including two videos showing suicide by gunshot, the computer game titled School Shooting, a spreadsheet listing mass murders, and a Christmas check from his mother to purchase a gun. The new report also revealed some photos of the crime scenes, including the entrance to Sandy Hook, where Adam Lanza shot his way into the school. According to the report, no drugs were found in Adam Lanza's system. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.